Some people are suspicious of the work that scientists are doing here 100 meters below ground on the border between Switzerland and France. Scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, better known as CERN, say the 27 kilometer long circular tunnel they have built is designed to understand the universe and unlock its mysteries. Conspiracy theorists, however, say this project is messing with nature and will soon end life on Earth through black holes or portals to parallel universes where strange and more powerful creatures might exist. Some even blame the world's largest scientific project for our devastating earthquakes. Others claim that governments spend billions of dollars on this project not to understand the universe, who cares about the universe, but rather to control our minds. It's all pretty crazy, but is there truth to any of these claims? I recently went to Switzerland to find out the real truth about CERN. It costs $10 billion. It's believed to be the largest and most complex machine mankind has ever created. There are all sorts of rumors that have circulated. The European Center for Particle Research, CERN, is unveiling details of a new particle accelerator today. All right. So he might ask for ID, let's see. Bonjour, j'ai deux journalistes avec moi qui sont badgés. D'accord, mais néanmoins il me faut une, une pièce d'identité, s'il ouais. vous plaît. Hello. Une pièce d'identité, s'il vous plaît. Do you have ID? It's as tall as a five-story five, star, a five story building, I believe, yeah, right? It's very, Crazy. Very, it's very, very tall. Uh -huh. And it's so amazing to think that, uh, you know, a group of human beings make such a tall machine, such powerful machines. So. Like built that or assembled that okay. 100 meters below ground. The first place I visited at CERN was the control center, where everything is turned on and off and constantly monitored on multiple screens. These screens show what happens when subatomic particles collide. Scientists observing the path of the particles are on the lookout for unusual or rare events, indicating new physics beyond what we already know. And at some point, um, there was a, a, a signal saying that these neutrinos would go faster than the speed of light. You might now wonder what technology or cameras they use to capture the movements of these subatomic particles, which are impossible to see with the naked eye. We will get to that, and trust me, you'll be blown away by that piece of technology. At least, I was. What we know or believe we know about the universe accounts for only 5% of it. We are ignorant about the other 95%. We call this unknown part dark matter and dark energy. We know they exist but we know almost nothing about them. Decades ago, scientists theorized a way to understand the universe better and decided to put that theory into practice. The idea of understanding the universe was so appealing and convincing that more than 20 European governments bought it and agreed to invest billions of dollars in it. That's how CERN was born and this massive tunnel was built on the outskirts of Geneva in Switzerland. When I say this tunnel is massive, I don't use that word lightly. It's not just the length, 27 kilometers, almost 17 miles, or the fact that it's 328 feet underground. The tunnel is so wide, an adult can walk through it. Inside the tunnel is a giant blue tube called the Large Hydron Collider. LHC. Presently, the, the LHC is the most powerful collider in the world. So what does that mean? Well, this means that the energy of the particles is the highest that we ever reached here on Earth. The LHC is filled with superconducting magnets 
that create two tiny virtual tubes, each the width of a human hair, for subatomic particles to travel through in opposite directions at nearly the speed of light. At one point, the particles are smashed together, bang, to recreate the conditions believed to have existed shortly after the Big Bang. Another uh, nice fact of the LHC is that it is equipped with superconducting magnets. Don't think of these magnets like the ones you use to stick things to your fridge door. These are powerful electromagnets with coils, and we make sure they constantly remain at super cold temperatures. We use 150 tons of liquid helium to cool down these magnets to minus 271 degrees wow. in order to keep these magnets super And that's colder than the outer space. Exactly, mm -hmm. yes. So we sometimes say this is the coolest place in yeah. the universe. <laughs> it has no resistance when it is cooled down to a very low temperature, so it can circulate a lot of current, therefore producing a very high magnetic field. Mm -hmm. We are speaking about 8.33 Tesla, which is 160,000 times the Hertz magnetic field. Mm -hmm. In addition to reducing resistance, which allows protons to travel nearly at the speed of light, cooling is essential to minimize thermal noise, ensuring the precision of the experiment. But why smash protons? What can we really learn from doing this over and over again? Particle physicists believe that understanding our vast universe requires examining its smallest units, atoms. And you know why scientists keep investigating atoms and don't trust them, because they make up everything. <laughs> but atoms do make up everything in the universe. A chair, a table, you, me, and your cousin Jack are all made up of billions and billions of atoms that are not visible to the naked eye. In theory, if you could divide up a table enough times, it would disappear into atoms. Don't try that with your cousin Jack. The key question is what makes these atoms behave the way they do and form different things in the universe? For instance, what makes some atoms heavier than others? We have a widely accepted theory that explains how the fundamental particles and forces that make up the universe works. That theory is called the standard model. The standard model describes three fundamental forces, electromagnetic, weak, and strong, and classifies all known elementary or subatomic particles into three main groups, quarks, leptons, and bosons. Quarks form protons and neutrons, which are found in atomic nuclei while leptons include electrons, which orbit the nucleus. Bosons are force-carrying particles like photons for electromagnetic force and gluons for strong force. In 2012, four years after LHC began operating, we finally found something. On July 4th, as Americans lit up the sky with fireworks, to celebrate their Independence Day, CERN gave the whole world a reason to celebrate. I think we have it. Well, I would like to add They had discovered the Higgs boson, the particle that gives mass to other particles. Sensationally called the God particle in the media, the discovery of the Higgs boson was considered a major breakthrough in particle physics. What has been termed as the Higgs boson. Yeah, right. So explain the Higgs and the boson both. A Higgs boson walks into a church. And the priest is a Catholic church. The priest said, I'm sorry, we don't allow Higgs bosons in church. And the Higgs boson said, excuse me, but without me, you can't have mass. <laughs> well, I would like to add my congratulations. In 2013, to this discovery led to the Nobel Prize in physics being awarded to two theorists, Peter Higgs and Francois Engler, who had predicted the particle's existence nearly half a century earlier. Does finding the God particle mean we now understand how the universe works? Not really. We are barely scratching the surface. 
partly because the standard model is not a complete theory and does not explain gravity as a fourth force. Scientists are still searching for a complete theory that can explain everything. But okay, is this Higgs boson really the Higgs boson of the standard model or there are maybe other cousins Mm -hmm. siblings of the Higgs boson that can do its job also. Mm -hmm. So we want to really study the, the properties of the Higgs bosons, if there are other particles similar to the Higgs particles. Do you think um, this, the LHC can, or are you hoping that it will help us uh, get a theory of everything? Well, that has been the dream, mm. the dream of so many theories, of so many experimentalists mm. uh, from so many years. So the people think that there could be a theory that is a theory of everything, mm -hmm. the unified theory. Mm. While CERN was built to understand the universe, its work has led to major discoveries in other areas. Did you know that the World Wide Web websites, which underpin today's global economy, was invented here at CERN. The same is true for particle beam therapy, which has treated hundreds of thousands of cancer patients. If CERN's benefits have been so great and its goal is so noble, why do people remain suspicious and develop all the wild conspiracy theories I mentioned at the outset of the video? I think, I think it's in many domains where things get complicated or are not fully understood by many people, then you get these conspiracy theories. So I think it's, it's natural that this happens. While scientists admit that black holes could be created as a result of smashing particles, they say these black holes would be too small and too short-lived to pose any real threat. So the energies Mm -hmm. of the particles in the LHC are much lower than the energy of the particles that collide above us and come from the universe. So if there would be a black hole creation due to high energy particles, then it would happen earlier above our heads mm -hmm. than in the LHC. I believe that because let's face it, LHC has been running for more than 15 years and we're still here. But what about the notion that CERN is being used to create portals to parallel universes. Where did this theory originate? And I don't know if you remember in, in uh, what was it, about 10 years ago, mm. we had an experiment where we did send neutrino particles from CERN mm. to Gran Sasso, which was 750 kilometers away from CERN in Italy. Mm -hmm. And this was in order to, to, to understand better the behavior of these neutrinos. And at some point, um, there was a, a, a signal saying that these neutrinos would go faster than the speed of light. And if you think about time travel, you think about the speed of light. So everybody got puzzled, and even the people from the experiment said, yeah, well, sorry, we don't understand what's going on, but we ask everybody to think with us and, and, and to see what, what is there, because we cannot believe that something can go faster than the speed of light. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the end, it turned out indeed to be a, a, a problem in the electronics, mm -hmm. which then gave a, a wrong time measurement. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, the, in the end, it was proven that these particles did not go faster than the speed of light. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to talk about the coolest thing at CERN, the Atlas Detector. It is 100 meters below us right now. Mm. So and unfortunately, we can't go to yeah, see it now because uh, yeah. LHC is running now. Currently, we are running, so at this moment, there is a lot of radioactivity. Mm. Atlas detector is where particles collide. Atlas is essentially a giant camera that has been assembled 100 meters below ground. Just look how massive the detector is compared to those construction workers. This detector weighs 7,000 tons. In other words, it's as heavy as the Eiffel Tower. It's 46 meters long and 25 meters in diameter. The detector is made of different layers of advanced sensors that record the movement and velocity of subatomic particles when and after they collide. 
you know the equation of Einstein, E equal MC Hello. squared. Yes. So all this energy of the protons that they are coming, they are traveling almost to the velocity of the light and we managed to collide them and then all this energy is converted into matter. Some people believe that CERN has now reached its limit. We must either abandon the project or build a larger particle accelerator to find things like signs of dark matter and dark energy and to improve our understanding of the universe. There's a proposal to build an accelerator called the Future Circular Collider, FCC, which will be three times larger than the LHC. The construction of the tunnel and its infrastructure is estimated to cost 17 billion US dollars. Even if approved today, this project won't be ready until 2070. Just think about all the effort it took to build this massive machine deep underground. The work the scientists here do is really amazing, but I'm not a scientist and I admit it's very hard to fully grasp the work these scientists are doing. But here is what really hit me. These scientists aren't just trying to figure out the universe for fun. They're actually changing how we understand everything around us. Just think about revolutionary treatments like particle beam therapy, which has saved the lives of tens of thousands of cancer patients. Thanks to them, we have websites that have changed the world beyond measure. I'd love to hear what you think about all this. Feel free to leave a comment below. And if you like what we are doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. Your help enables us to produce more transformative content on technology and science. Thanks for watching.